okay, so um, it was the day that they were going to shoot my funeral, uh, uh, Kitty's funeral. And Robin Strasser and Peter White and I were at this restaurant called McGlade's, which was across the street from the studio. And they concocted this idea that I would go back into the studio. No one knew I was there because I wasn't in the show, obviously, I was dead. And so um, I would go back into the studio and they would help and I would go into the coffin. And Robin had a little matchbook from McGlade's and we did all this and she put the matchbook in the coffin so that I could breathe, so the air would get into the coffin. Well, those scenes were supposed to be next, and of course, they changed the schedule while we were on lunch break, and they went to another set. So I'm in this coffin for like an hour, and Peter and Robin know I'm in this coffin, and they can't say anything, but every once in a while, they're sort of wandering by, going, are you okay? Everything okay here? I'm saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. So anyway, finally they get to the set, and Poor Dell is trying to wrangle everybody into the set. And, of course, everybody's there. Everybody. It was the, all the old cast. Fabulous. Fra Heflin, Mary Fickett, Ray McDonald, Ruthie, uh, Louis Edmonds, uh, Julia Barr, Mark Lemura. I mean, you name them. Everybody was there. And we were waiting for Susan <laughs> to come to the floor. And... Um, so Susan finally comes to the floor, and Dell is trying to get everybody, to, uh, everybody quiet. And he says, quiet, quiet, everybody quiet, quiet on the floor. And from inside the coffin, they heard. Everybody sort of started to murmur. And, what was that? And, they, and Peter jumped up and opened up the lid of the coffin and I came up out of the coffin and they went, they just went nuts. And I said, for an under five, this is a bitch. <laughs> and they rolled tape on it and I still have that tape. I still have that. <laughs> I have a tape of that. But it was, it, was, it was a sad day for me, you know? And it made the day possible because it made me, uh, I, I was a part of my own funeral, <laughs> so to speak.